Hi everybody, my name's Claire, welcome back. I've just done a pour with a rainbow of colours, but the predominant colours were pinks and purples. Um, there was a lot of paint involved, a lot of scraping involved. Um, so there was a lot of paint left on my worktop at the end of the pour. So I've scraped all of that up, gathered it, and I've put it into a pot, and it has left me with the most beautiful, violety, purpley, slightly sparkly colour. It is gorgeous, and there's a lot of it. So I'm going to use that for a Dutch pour base. I've paired it with, I think, one of my new favourite colour combinations which I'll show you in a second um, and I'm just I'm just going to try and make the most of this colour that I've scraped because it is stunning um, so let me show you the colours so this is the colour that I scraped for my worktop it is absolutely beautiful it, you can see it shimmering because of the um, the iridescence in it the gold in it it's just so pretty it's just a beautiful beautiful purple so that is my base colour then I'm going to use these colours. So um, Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet, Amsterdam Venetian Rose, Amsterdam Bronze, Pebio Studio Acrylic Silver, and then Montmartre Gold. Oops, this one here. Um, so they're all there ready. Oh, and Amsterdam White as well. Uh, they're all mixed with Flood Floatrol, so I'll put the recipe in the description of this video. And obviously this is mixed exactly the same way. It's just that it's just a combination of lots of other colours. Um, but again, mixed with uh, Flood Floatrol to the same recipe. I'm using a 40 centimetre canvas. I've put push pins in the back and then I've just checked that the canvas is level. So I'm going to cover the base first. So I'll just put a nice big puddle in the center and then I'm going to blow that out with the hairdryer. Dutch, for the Dutch pour design, I'm going to put the colours diagonally across. So I'm going to start with just a little bit of um, the bronze. And I think I'm going to go with a tiny bit of white. And I'm going to just do slightly wiggly lines. Then let's go silver. Now I'm hoping I'm going to get quite a few cells with this simply because I've put on, so there's three iridescent colours. So the rose colour. tiny bit of the gold and then the deep purple do you know what the bronze was looking fab so tiny bit more of that and then I think a little bit more of the rose color and then white Right, I'm just thinking how to, to blow this out. I think I'm going to start in the centre, blow one way and then the other, I think. It's quite subtle. 
I'm just wondering the longer yeah the longer I'm leaving this I can see the white coming through the gold is lost a little bit of gold I don't think I actually needed the gold so that's fine the bronze the deep purple and the venetian rose wow they are stunning together it's really really pretty i'm just going to just fiddle with the edge here slightly because it's quite blunt don't like that So the only place I want to torch this is right in the centre where it's solid colour. Yeah, that's good. I've got a few tiny cells and it's just broken that up slightly. And the same here, but not a lot because there are millions, thousands of cells in this already. I don't want to do a lot of torching, but that was just such a solid block. I just felt it needed breaking up very slightly. Maybe there as well. And there. And there. Stop. I think otherwise I'm done. I absolutely love it. The colours are amazing. All right, let me show you close up. So I often find when I first blow the petals out, they look very, very pale and not enough colour at all. But as I leave them, the colours just come through. So it changes so much. So you first blow it out and you think, oh, yeah, it's OK. But a bit, I felt it would maybe a bit boring to start with. Now, not at all. So the cells develop, the colours come through. So you just give it five, ten minutes before you decide if you're happy or not, because it just it changes so much. This base colour is beautiful. I don't know if you can see but it is sparkling. I'm hoping you can see. I'm trying to focus. Sorry, it's not focusing because it's a plane. There we go. Um, it is sparkling. It's subtle, but it is sparkling. And then when you get into the design, you've got sparkle throughout. Look at this. How on earth have I done that? It just, it, oh, it's just beautiful. I know that because I'm using iridescence, I'm going to get cells. But look at that, the purple over the purple and the pink. I'm really excited about this. I love the composition. I love the diagonal Dutch pour, the diagonal um, paint. Um, and these cells. Look at that isn't that beautiful it almost created a lacing effect over the base i wonder actually because the base has got iridescent colors in it whether that's what's partly caused all these the sort of the lacing effect over the top wow i am pretty excited about this i will be back when it's dry i absolutely love this color scheme it is gorgeous that sort of salmony pink color with the purple and the bronze, I absolutely love it. Um, it's interesting because I would normally go for a very dark base or a very light base. So this purple is, is neither, it's really in between, um, which I love because it meant that I could put the really dark colours and the really light colours in the design. So both, I think, show really well. So the white shows really well, but the deep purple shows really well. Um, the cells are just incredible. The details are just absolutely beautiful. It's just the more you look, the more you see. So the closer that you get, the more details that you see. So pretty. I just, it's just gorgeous. I'm so happy with it. I love mixing non-iridescent colours and iridescent colours together because you just get these crazy, crazy interactions with the paint. Um, the purple um, has come out really nicely. 
Um, you've got a few air bubbles you can see there. But because I'd already poured on this canvas and I put the gesso on, it's a much thicker looking sur um, surface of paint. So often with a Dutch pour, or always with a Dutch pour, you actually see the canvas and the grain of the canvas through the paint, whereas you don't this time because it's much more solid um, looking. Great, thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this colour scheme, of this composition. What do you think of this style? I'd love to know um, what everybody thinks because I read the comments and then that really helps me decide what to do next or it, it often gives me ideas of how I could change things or do things differently. So please leave me a comment. That would be amazing. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.